It died! <laughs> hey, Multiverse. This is Mavis. Wow! <laughs> We're going for a ride in the truck. Okay, first I've got to get it in here. There we go. So, we get to meet. <laughs> There's the house. There's the house with the dogs. You guys know the story of the dogs? The people know the story of the dogs? Yeah. Okay, they know the story. We're going for a ride in the country. Yes, this is really me. Is that a goat? There's a, that's a goat farm. Oh, goats. Oh, I'm hungry. years old and this was my house. I lived here with my grandmother and my mother and two cousins and three brothers and sometimes we would move away and but we'd always come back because this is home. It's in the bit of disrepair. My cousin still lives here so um, it's still got energy. It's still got family energy because somebody's still living here, but this is my home. Now this house right here, we call this our canning shed. And my grandmother kept all her uh, cans that she canned her vegetables in the summertime in here. And in the summertime, when it would be too hot in the kitchen for canning, she'd build a big fire about right here and put a big tub on it and she put all of her green beans in their cans and she would put them here and she would boil them for hours until they were ready and that's how she did her canning in the summertime and it's about to fall and a story about it is my little brother one time stuck his head right under here under this crawl space and he got stuck because we kidded him because we always told him he had a big head. And he got his head stuck under the uh, canning shed. <laughs> and our neighbors had to come down and lift it off his head. Because it was only sitting on rocks. They had rocks where they sat it down so it wasn't attached. So they could pick it up on one end and pick it up off his head. But he was there for a while till they got it up off of him. We never let him live that down either. So that's the canning shed. Um, okay, there was a huge pine tree growing right here. And last year, there was a big storm, and it blew the tree over. And part of the branches hit the house. And you can see where it tore the side of the house. It went into the bedroom upstairs and tore down part of the chimney. But so far, uh, and I said my cousin lives here, and so far all she's been able to do is just get that waterproof so that the rain doesn't blow into the inside of the bedroom up there. But that's all she's done. She's not using the upstairs part of the house anymore. She's mainly downstairs.